Hi, I'm Holger Flick and this is another TMS Web Core hands-on. Today I would like to talk about bootstrap icons. And without using slides, I just tell you or show you in an exemplary TMS Web Core application what bootstrap icons are. Because whenever I show this user interface to customers, they say, how did you do this nice little icons in front of your captions of your buttons? Or how do you do this icon for the main view? And if you log in, like, how did you do this hard disk icon, the OK button, cancel button? How do you do all these icons? And furthermore, you can use them inside of a grid on different buttons to signify adding a record, deleting a record, printing. And it's actually really easy. You do not have to include any graphics of any sort. So hang on. Here's how it works. Full documentation is available from Bootstrap on getbootstrap.com in the icon section, not in the Bootstrap section. So as I've mentioned several times, Bootstrap is so much more than just a couple of components or so much more than just a couple of formatting guidelines or responsive design. Bootstrap now includes themes, icons, and all that that I just mentioned. And the Bootstrap icons have become a pretty big library of icons that you can easily search using a keyword. So if you go to icons.getbootstrap.com, you see a list of all the icons that you can filter by a keyword. For example, the check mark, you type check, and there you see right there, the check circle or the check square is what I use on my buttons. And the nice thing with this project is if you already use Bootstrap, you do not need to include anything more than one additional line in your primary HTML that is used on all your forms. I'll get to that in a minute. And then you can use it as an icon font like with the italic HTML tag. So if you were to include the check square in your application, you simply needed to copy this code, this little piece of HTML. There is no need to use the vector approach using SVG or to download anything and deploy that with your application, it simply becomes part of your Bootstrap CSS. Looking at the install instructions, you can see that the CDN, which means you include the HTML tag with a link in your document, it's only one additional line. So you can copy this, go to your TMS Web Core application and go to the project HTML file, which is called index.html here in my case and well the formatting here is not very nice so let me separate it for you here you see this is where i included it it's simply copy paste and here here is the bootstrap framework and afterwards i immediately load the bootstrap icons style sheet and this already enables you to use all the icons by simply using the ihtml tag so if we look at the HTML for the login dialog, for example, with the OK and Cancel button, the caption is not just OK or Cancel. In addition to that, I add the code that is given to me on the icon page from Bootstrap. So just confirming I class BI BI check square. And if we look at the documentation, the check square indeed has this HTML tag. And the same for the cancel button. I'll look for cancel, the X circle, and there you go for the HTML tag you need to use. And these tags can be used in any place in your HTML. So even if you use the Delphi form designer, you can still use these icons. You simply specify it as part of your caption property or text property. It doesn't make a difference. TMS Web Core uses HTML to display all information. And the iHTML tag is redefined by Bootstrap to show these icons. In addition to Bootstrap icons, there's also Font Awesome, another project that makes it really easy to include icons in your web design projects. There's a free version available with lots and lots of icons that you can browse easily. So you go to the free version, icons, and then you limit the filter to the free package 
and you see there's hundreds of icons and it works just the same way as with bootstrap icons let's say i wanted to use the apple pay icon here and these are the different variations of it again same approach as with bootstrap before you can use these icons you have to extend your css yet again unlike bootstrap you won't find it on the documentation you have to go to start and you will have to provide your email address because then font awesome will send you a customized link i guess they want to identify you and the usage of the icons even though the usage is not restricted only the number of icons is restricted in the free package so you can look at that yourself fontawesome.com is the alternative to bootstrap icons and there's many 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 more that are available freely on the internet let me just sum up that you do not need any downloads for this this works from everywhere around the world the icons are provided by the provider either being bootstrap font awesome and i'm sure there's many more providers but it all comes down to this to the two steps that you need to take care of first extend your index.html file with a link to the css that will convert certain tags and open up the classes for the icons that are available second you're able to use these icons with the ihtml tag using the classes that you can find easily by browsing the repository of the provider in case you use tms web core for visual studio code the designer is of course able to show these icons note that we have a little key in front of the sign in title and again all the button icons here's a hint that you might find useful if you still make modifications to your design in Visual Studio Code, you can show the designer at the same time as your HTML. Simply hold down the Alt key and go to this icon up here and split the document. And there you are now able to assign the HTML for the page above to this area. Changes to the HTML are shown immediately. Let's say we want to exchange the signing key to a different icon. This is the HTML key that I use for the key, BI, BI key. So we switch over to the Bootstrap icons page and we look for a door that is opened with a key. Here's the door. We have the HTML tag. We copy it to the clipboard, go back to Visual Studio Code, paste, and the change is immediately shown above. TMS Web Core for Visual Studio Code allows you to build user interfaces efficiently. In case you have not looked at TMS Web Core for Visual Studio Code, go to web.tmssoftware.com.